So I'm showing you how to make rocket motors. So I'm adding some rubber, liquid rubber, some a little bit of silicon, and some thinner, and then some castor oil and depanol, mixing it all together. This is part of the binder. I'm just I just added the uh, copper chromite, which is a burn enhancer, to make the fuel burn faster. It's now under a vacuum. What I just mix, and now I'm preparing the ammonium perchlorate, which is the oxidizer, sifting it out, getting out all the chunky stuff out. And then this is a zinc powder, which is uh, a metal that uh, makes it burn faster and better. So now I just uh, added the metal to the mix and mixing it all up. That makes it a little bit gray in color. And I also added the, um, the catalyzer to, to the binder that binds the helps bind the binder. And now I'm wait, we're waiting, it's under vacuum right now, so waiting, 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 drinking a soda. And now I'm back and then adding the oxidizer, the AP or ammonium perchlorate. So I put in half and mix it. Now I put in another quarter, so that's three quarters and mix it, and the last quarter, mix it. And uh, now it's getting like putty, very thick putty. And I put it under vacuum again and waiting. And now starting to stuff the grains. Each grain is in a mold. Um, and the little tool that I 3D printed helps uh, compress the um, fuel down into the bottom of the grain and get everything tight and, and uh, take up all the spaces. You don't want any air bubbles or spaces or gaps in the grain it needs to be solid and so uh, this is actually the longest part it takes a f quite a you know, maybe a good seven or eight minutes to stuff a grain um, and i'm doing seven grains total here and so you're just seeing this repeat seven times um, you want to make sure to clean all the edges and all the extra fuel from the sides of the grain and that's why I wipe it down with a tissue paper to clean all that stuff up and so this is just going to repeat this is probably my fifth or sixth grain here and that's close to the end okay so I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the grain out of the mold so now this the next day after I stuff them. So this is a silicon tube here that makes up the core and then there's silicon down the bottom of this mold so it helps fit for the grain to just come right out like that. You can see the silicon down the bottom here and and then you just pull this out like that. There's your grain. It's that easy. So we can do that again. Just pull it out. Pull out that. There's the grain. There's sometimes a little stuff you gotta pull off on the sides here on the bottom. That's pretty easy to do. Out. Okay, last one, second to the last one. There we go. So we got seven grains of 38 millimeter. These are all compatible with any of the uh, Aerotech reloadable casings from one to four or six grains. I'm not sure what the largest one is. So there we go. Seven grains. All ready to go. So on the subject of these grain molds, these are all 3D printed. This is a 54 millimeter version here. 
and the whole mold is 3D printed. This silicon tubing just slips over a printed rod that's in the middle, like you can see on this one here. It's easier to get off. So this is all 3D printed. Down the bottom there's some liquid Umu rubber, silicon rubber, that was poured down there at the bottom. And then that creates a stick-free bottom that makes it easy to pull out. And then the silicon tubing goes over the printed rod here. And that's at exactly the diameter of the core that you want on your grain. Typically for 38 millimeters it's 3 eighths of an inch. For the 54 millimeters it's like half an inch. And then this is, uh, so normally like in the case of the 54 millimeter you'd you'd stuff it by putting down the propeller all around. And then I made these centering caps that goes over Normally you'd have the liner for the grain would slip in here, fill this all up, and then this cap would go over at the end to keep the tubing, which is somewhat flexible, it keeps it perfectly centered at both the bottom of the grain and the top of the grain. And then this is a 75 millimeter grain, uh, so I use this to build like L and M size motors in 75 millimeter. So the cardboard liner would go here. Same thing, you stuff it. This is a, let's see, what is it, 7 eighths of an inch diameter, and then this is the centering cap that goes over it. So that's how all these grain molds work. They're all 3D printed with Umu silicon rubber poured down the bottom make it non-stick and then the silicon tubing of the right diameter that makes the core.